anyway, intro the video. Hey guys, it's Phoenix, and today we are creating the fastest redstone clock in the game. That was good. That was, that was good. <laughs> yeah, it did the job. Okay. Sweet. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is get a command block. And do you know how to okay. do that? Uh, I'll, no. be, I'll just see you try. Slash give. Yep. Command underscore block. You're supposed to, you have to type the name in first. So slash give and then at P. Which is like the nearest player, oh, or, wait, or you can type your name, or you can type your name in instead. Uh, okay. So the command goes like this. Oh, okay. I was close. Yeah, the name goes in the middle, and the item name goes uh at the end. Lock. Cool. Here we go. Oh, cool. All right. So the first thing we need to do is face north. So if you press F three. Uh -huh. You should see the uh, the facing thing over here, uh, and oh, the north. orientation. Okay. The orientation needs to say north. All uh, right. That's the easiest way to do it. There are other ways to do it if you don't want to face north or you can't face north. But we won't do that. Why, we won't do that in the why video. Why do you have to be? Why do you have to be facing north? Because in Minecraft, the order of command block activation depends on which where the command block is. So if the command block oh. is on. Like uh, the left when you're facing north, and then to the right, it activates from left to right. Oh. Yeah. Something is it is uh, that something new every day. Uh, is it like, like hoppers? <laughs> uh, you know, not really. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so we place the command blocks like this. Okay. You can have your own set. So I'll shift oh. over to the right a bit. So I'll go here. Do you know, okay. Do you know what a fill command is? No. <laughs> okay. All right. So before we do the fill command, let's do a set block command then. And set block is basically you're placing a block down with a command. So. Well, why can't I just place one down myself? <laughs> because you need <laughs> command blocks to do it. Uh, so okay. let's go to the command block on the left. Okay. And type in slash. Uh huh. Set block. Set, set, block. There a space? set block without a space. Set block. Okay. And now you have to press the squiggly line, which is called tilde. And do you know what that is? Uh, it's this thing. Oh, I got it, I got it, yep. I got it. Tilde, okay. tilde one. One. Space. Okay. And then tilde again. I'll explain this later. Okay. And then tilde again. Okay. Now, space. And now you space. want now you need to know which block ID you want to place down, and you can place absolutely any block you want. I'm just gonna press. St I'm gonna type in stone just because I usually do it. I usually type in the word stone. I'll do stone too, so we match. Okay. Let's see. Do I hit done? Yep, hit done, and let me see what you typed in. Oh. <laughs> uh, close. Want to take a look at my one? Whoa! <laughs> Don't want to do that. Uh, take a look at my one. Wait, did I miss something? Yeah, you missed a little bit. Oh. So the tilde <laughs> represents like coordinates. Okay. So what you want to do is set a block, one block to the right. So this one. So you want to set a stone block over here. Uh huh. And in this command block, what you missed was uh yeah because I didn't really explain to you what tilde meant. I just have to put a space, right? Yep. Space in the correct areas. So the reason why it hasn't set block is because the redstone, there's no redstone power being emitted into the How do you block. power it? So to power it, we place either a redstone torch or a button or a redstone block, but we won't do that yet. Now we need to oh. actually fill in the command block on the right. Okay. And to do that, we do the same command. Mm -hmm. So slash set block. Okay. So space tilde, but this time it's negative one because you want to place a block to the left rather than to the right. Uh, okay. Yep, it's really simple. And then tilde, tilde again. Okay. And this time we put in redstone block. So redstone underscore block instead of stone. Oh, redstone. In underscore block instead of stone. Just redstone underscore okay. block. And then press enter. Okay. All right, let me see. 
Brilliant. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Good work. I did something right. Okay. No okay. Okay, now here's a trick. We need to power uh -huh. both command blocks at the same time. So how do you think we should do that? Uh. With the redstone block. Where do we put the redstone block to power them? Near the in, in between. In between them, exactly. That's why we have the, <laughs> the one block gap. And now we place a redstone block in between both of them. Okay. And before so you can I just before you do that, oh, I'm what? gonna do this really cool thing. Command block output true. Okay, now press it. Uh, put it in the middle. A redstone uh, block okay. right in the middle. Redstone. Here we go. Yep. And between yours or mine? Oh, it doesn't matter. Put it in. Yep. Okay. Now you see in okay. chat. Now chat is now being spammed. Uh huh. And now try and destroy that redstone block. Okay. Can't be destroyed. I can't. And the reason why it's not being destroyed is because you're activating the command block on the right, which is placing another redstone block on the left. And then this one... Why on isn't the... the one on the left activated? You can't see it. It's actually going red, white, red, white really, really quickly. But oh. since the command block on the right takes precedence, it's activating and then placing another redstone block on the left. This one is replacing it with stone. But since there's already another redstone block being placed, it's activating again and again. So it's a continuous cycle. Okay. So, and it's basically activating every tick. So it's 20 times a second. So 20 times All a right. second is really fast, as you can imagine. Yeah. And let me turn off that spam. Okay, and we can spam people with this really easily. So <laughs> you can do this to anyone who logs in. All you need to do is place a command block anywhere adjacent to the redstone block uh -huh. and then you can type in any spam so do you know the slash tell command no so if i do slash tell and uh -huh. bayani do that and then type in random message and you'll get spammed right oh why <laughs> so if try and type something in the message like do that you're being spammed oh my gosh i think i did it Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, you didn't. No, it's I N. No. It's N I, not I N. Oh. N I. Then. There you go. See, now I'm being spammed. You can actually make a really, really large redstone clock. And that means okay. instead of using the set block command, you can use a slash fill command. And fill means. Okay. I actually use the slash fill command to create this large platform. All right. It's like a world edit thing, so you just create a large area of land mass. So I'll type in the first command in here, and you can copy me. Okay. Uh, let's do 30. And now, uh, so look on this command block. Okay. I did a slash fill, or I, I didn't use the words, I didn't use a slash because you don't actually need to. Um, okay. So fill, and basically what this is doing is filling from the first three tildes, which is this one, this block on the right, uh, to tilde one, which is to the right, and then 30 blocks that way. So it's going to okay. fill, it's going to fill um, from here, 30 blocks to 30 blocks that way with stone. Uh, and, all right. and I can copy this into the command block on the right and change the ones to negative ones and change the stone to redstone. And oh, it's going to be a huge clock. Yep, exactly. That. Whoa. <laughs> and all of these, all of these redstones, that, all the redstone here is actually being filled 20 times a second as well. So every single one. So you can't break them. You can't break them. Oh, but you can walk through them. <laughs> yeah. All right, just oh, access. Yeah. Cool. cool. My, my, mine's, mine, mine's stone. Yeah, because you need to do it on the command block on the right as well. But why? I, you had to break yours first. No, I didn't. Yeah, yours like. Oh no no no! I filled the one on the right as well. Oh. Okay, there we go. Cool. Okay. Now you've got another fill clock. Most of my videos use most of my videos actually use this fill clock, because it's For really what? it's really reliable to have a really fast redstone clock. I actually have a what video coming out soon. Redstone clocks for. Uh, you'll see. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so th those are two fill clocks. And okay. there are a lot of things you can do with these. You can do test four commands. Um, you won't understand any of this, I know. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm teaching you anyway. You should be grateful. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I am. Uh, there's you. one more thing you. you can do. It's okay. Uh, there's uh-huh. one more thing you can do. In it's actually you can actually trigger the uh, fill clocks. So sometimes you want to turn it on to turn it off, and uh-huh. it's it's sometimes impractical to to you know always have to always having to destroy the command block and type in the command in again. Okay. Okay. So there oh, is. Oh whoa! What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. That's <laughs> how did that just happen? There's a way to actually trigger in. Uh, there's a way to turn it on and off. Whoa. Okay, it's probably useful to uh, to first explain um, why you would need to do this. Mhm. Okay, so if I get some redstone here, so this type of um clock is actually this is another clock. Uh, okay. So if I compare that clock to this one, this one is not as fast as that one, isn't it? No. Because this one you can actually I can see, see it, turn it on happening. Off. Yeah, but that one you mm-hmm. can't because this is twenty times a second. Um, mm-hmm. So this one is really easy to turn on and off. All you need to do is have a lever or just switch like that, mm-hmm. right? But for a fill clock like this, it's impractical if you have to uh, break the command block and replace it and type the command in again. So mm-hmm. what I've done here is I've set up a little trigger, a remote trigger. Mm-hmm. So if you look into these command blocks, look in the first two on on the bottom. Okay. You'll see that I'm setting this one to stone. So th- the command block that used to be here. I'm back here. <laughs> what? I'm back Where here. Are you? Uh, okay. Okay, so the first so the first two <laughs> command blocks at the bottom is setting this block to stone and this block to stone. So okay. it means that it'll just deactivate it. So if I activate it, this command block gets activated and places this command block here mm-hmm. with the relevant command in it. So command, colon, fill, and stuff. I, I know if you don't know MPT tags, it's a little difficult. But basically, yeah. I'm placing a block down with a data, some sort of data. And that data mm-hmm. is a command that I don't have to type in. It just does it for me. And the one on the right is setting a command block, uh, sorry, a redstone block in the middle, which will mm-hmm. start it all up. Because this will not, so let's just do this. Because a command block needs to be powered in order for it to work. So if I just place that mm-hmm. command block down, I, it doesn't work. But right. if I place a redstone block in the middle, it powers it and starts the clock it's up. It's powered? Yep. Okay. Sort of get it. Yeah? Uh- yeah, kind of. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah. That's as best as I can really teach. I know this is kind of <laughs> advanced. You should yeah, really I... learn how redstone works before you learn how command blocks work. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get it. You're doing a good job explaining it. Anyway, that's as, that's as much as I'll probably go into this video. Okay. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this format for this video. I haven't done this before. This is my first collab video, really. Uh, teaching Woo! teaching command blocks. Not my first, but it's my first one with a tutorial in it. And uh, I hope you got something out of it. And if you enjoyed watching, um, you can give a like. Or if you want, you can also subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. We'll go straight for the trees. Oh, we got a cave as well. Cool. Watch out for that bloody hole there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a rib- I think that's a ribbon. Cool, we got no lag. Good start. Alright, we killed the start. Alright, so look around, do you see any, um, cows or chickens? Um, I will tell you as soon as I hear chickens. I can hear sheep. Um, I don't see anything, but it's a pretty good area. There's lots of stuff. Since this is like a beginner's thing, uh, I'm teaching you, I'm the teacher and you're the student, so you better listen to me, okay? Hey, don't, okay. come back. <laughs> come back. I'm right here.